Achilles fights Hector amidst the hostilities of the Trojan War, in a painting by Antonio Raffaella Colino single combat is a duel between two single warriors which takes place in the context of a battle between two armies. Instances of single combat are known from classical antiquity and the Middle Ages. The champions were often combatants who represented larger, spectator groups. Such representative contests and stories thereof are known worldwide. Typically, it takes place in the no-man's land between the opposing armies, with other warriors watching and themselves refraining from fighting until one of the two single combatants has won. Often, it is champion warfare, with the two considered the champions of their respective sides. Single combat could also take place within a larger battle. Both ancient and medieval warfare did not always rely on the line or phalanx formation. The Iliad notably describes the battles of the Trojan War as a series of single encounters on the field, and the medieval code of chivalry, partly inspired by this. Encourage the single combat between individual knights on the battlefield, in which the loser was not usually killed but taken captive for ransom. This tradition ended in the 14th century due to the use of the longbow and the pike square against mounted knights. And the tradition of single combat was continued away from the battlefield, with the pod d'arm and the early modern duel. An important episode in the tale of Sinuhe, one of the most well-known works of ancient Egyptian literature, concerns the protagonist, an Egyptian exile in Upper Rechinu, defeating a powerful opponent in single combat. Duels between individual warriors are depicted in the Iliad, including those between Menelaus and Paris and later between Achilles and Hector. The Hebrew Bible also includes a few accounts of single combat, the most famous being David vs. Goliath. Single combat is mentioned quite frequently in the history of ancient Rome, Romulus defeated Acro, king of Senina for the Spolia Opima, the Horatii's defeat of the Alba Longan. Curiatae in the 7th century BC is reported by Livy to have settled a war in Rome's favor and subjected Alba Longa to Rome, Aulus Cornelius Cassus defeated Lars Ptolemaeus, king of the Vaeans in single combat and took the Spolia Opima. In the 5th century BC, Marcus Claudius Marcellus took the Spolia Opima from Viridimerus, king of the Gisetti, at the Battle of Clastidium, and Marcus Licinius Crassus from Deldo, king of the Bastarni. Depictions of single combat also appear in the Hindu epics of the Mahabharata and the Ramayana. Single combats are often preludes to battles in the Chinese epic romance of the Three Kingdoms and are featured prominently throughout the epic. In the Cattle Raid of Cooley, a famous episode of Irish mythology, all the warriors of Ulster but Cuchulain are made sick by a curse and unable to fight the invading army of Queen Maeve. Leaving Cuchulain to fight a whole series of single combats by himself until they recover. The Welsh mythological tale, the fourth branch of the Mabinogi, depicts a single combat between the southern prince Pryderi and the northern magician Gwydion, to determine the victor of a war between the two kingdoms. Many battles depicted in the medieval Chanson de Roland consist of a series of single combats, as are battles in the early Russian epic poem. The tale of Igor's campaign and the battles depicted in various tales of the Arabian Nights. Guy of Warwick, the legendary English romance hero, is depicted as defeating in single combat the Viking giant Colbrand. The story is set in the time of Athelstan of England, but actually reflects the society of the late Middle Ages. An important episode in Geoffrey of Monmouth's legendary history of the kings of Britain is the single combat between Prince Nennius of Britain and Julius Caesar. Single combat was also a prelude to battles in pre-Islamic Arabia and early Islamic battles. For example, the Battle of Badr, one of the most important in the early history of Islam, was opened by three champions of the Islamic side stepping forward. Engaging and defeating three of the then pagan Meccans, although Ubeda was mortally wounded. This result of the three single combats was considered to have substantially contributed to the Muslim victory in the overall battle which followed. Duels were also part of other battles at the time of Muhammad, such as the Battle of Uhud, Battle of the Trench and the Battle of Kaibar. In the early Muslim conquest the Muslim commander would often duel with the enemy commander, for example, Khalid ibn al-Walid and Hormozd in the Battle of the Chains. Single combats were characteristic of the samurai fighting tradition and known as Ikiuchi. As each samurai commanded his unit of retainers, successfully challenging and defeating the opposing samurai by a single combat can force the entire unit to retreat minimizing casualties and changing the course of battle. Those seeking a suitable opponent, frequently used Nanori to issue a challenge by announcing his name and bravery as well as ridiculing opponents to boost morale of his side as well as enrage the opponent to force the combat. As this is a high-risk low-return strategy for the winning side, already defeated side, 
or ill-matched opponent it was acceptable to decline or elude the single combat. An example of single combat with a tragic result for the victor is told in Haika Monogatari as Kumagai Naain defeated Taira no Atsumori at the Battle of Ichi no Tani. It could be banned by the overall commander as needed and notably during Mongol invasions of Japan, particularly during the second invasion in 1281, samurai fought as masked mounted archer slash warrior with the annihilation of enemy as the goal. This tradition declines and disappears during the Sengoku period as each side prepared trained armies in thousands or even tens of thousands making the single combat have a limited, if any, effect on the outcome of the battle. In Russia, single combat is known as bash na bash, substituting a fight between champions for a full-scale battle was a traditional way to avoid the bloodshed of an internecine war. The leaders of the opposing Druzinas or other armed groups either rode towards the center of the battlefield or sent messengers to negotiate whether the two most skilled fighters or the leaders themselves would engage in single combat. Usually to the death. The outcome of the champion's fight would then be taken as a sign of which side the higher powers favored, and could have political consequences similar to the result of a full battle. The oldest written account of such a fight is found in Nestor's primary chronicle. It describes a duel between a Kievan champion and the Pechenegs' best fighter. The most well-known fight, however, was that between Prince Mstislav the Brave of Knuterikin and the Kasog Prince Rydetia in 1022, in which Mstislav defeated Rydetia and killed him with a dagger. According to the primary chronicle, Mstislav's victory allowed him to take tribute from the Kasogs and to have a church built. He also took Rydetia's wife and two sons and had them baptized into Christianity upon which he had his daughter married to Rydetia's son according to the tradition of the times. Although Rydetia had been killed, he was honored by Mstislav, and his family joined the ranks of the Russian nobility. The semi-legendary tale of the destruction of Ryazan includes an extensive account of the combat between the Russian hero at Pety Kolovrat and the Tatar warrior Hostovrol. Kolovrat splits his opponent in half with his sword and wins the duel. However, Kolovrat is then attacked and killed from a distance by Tatar stonethrowers. The Mongol ruler Badu Khan, impressed with his bravery, honors his body. Alexander Pirisvet fights Chelyubi. By Viktor Vasnetsov sometimes however, such single combat would merely initiate a battle rather than prevent it. The most famous example of this was the duel between Russian monk Alexander Pirisvet and the Golden Horde champion Chelyubi or Tamir Murza at the beginning of the Battle of Kulikovo in 1380. The champions killed each other in the first run, though according to Russian legend, Pirisvet did not fall from the saddle, while Tamir Morza did. In Kerala, India, dueling between warriors was used to settle conflicts between local rulers. The prime martial caste of Kerala, Nairs, and some prominent Tazava families made up the Chekhovars. Some prominent warriors who took part in such ankum were Thakoli Athenan, Uniarka, Oromal Chekhovar, whose legends are described in the Vadukan Patukal. The Mamankam festival held by the Zamoran ruler in the kingdom of modern-day Kozikode, was a ritual which glorified the martial traditions of warrior families in the Malabar. The ritual ended after the Zamoran was overthrown. The Kerala practice was discontinued in the 19th century under the British Raj. In personal combat, fought on the backs of war elephants, during a war between Burma and Siam, Siamese King Narazu and slew Burmese crown prince Mingi Swa in 1593. Captain John Smith of Jamestown is reputed in his earlier career as a mercenary in Eastern Europe to have defeated, killed and beheaded Turkish commanders in three single combats. For which he was knighted by the Transylvanian prince Sigismund Bottery and given a horse and coat of arms showing three Turks' heads. Dramatist Ben Johnson, in conversations with the poet William Drummond, recounted that when serving in the Low Countries as a volunteer with the regiments of Francis Vere. He had defeated an opponent in single combat in view of both armies and stripped him of his weapons. In more recent times, single combats have become iconic, though often apocryphal, elements of aerial dogfights, with the idea, if not the practice, of single combat in the skies particularly prevalent during the First World War with the Air Force's emphasis on a sort of individualism and chivalry. Manfred von Richtholfen, the infamous Red Baron, is recorded as writing if I am alone with an opponent, only a jammed gun or an engine problem can prevent me from shooting him down. In his 1979 book The Right Stuff. Journalist Tom Wolfe argues that the Mercury 7 astronauts were treated as single combat warriors versus the Soviet cosmonauts during the space race as part of the Cold War. 
Science fiction writer Frederick Brown wrote the story arena in which a human space fleet prepares for battle with an invading alien fleet when a superior elder race intervenes. Plucking a single human and a single malevolent alien to engage in single combat as the champions of their respective species. Thanks for watching.